respected teachers and fellow students. In the early 17th century, Mary Watt lived a life of religious devotion, whilst working to pioneer women's education, bringing about change in the world and its view. Today, centuries later, it is a fruit of her labor and of others who followed in her footsteps that we can receive education even from the comfort of our homes amidst a global pandemic. But we must realize our privilege. We must not forget that what we take for granted is not available to all. And we must use our privilege to lift up those who aren't as blessed. Mary Moore lived in an age when the Catholic Church considered women to be weak and fickle, limited to married life or cloistered religious life. But she challenged social hierarchy and rebelled against the norms, demanding that women be given equal opportunities, that women be given equal rights, that there be no difference in what a woman and a man could achieve. Here we present a mind based on the ideology of Mary Ward, showcasing the atrocities that women face even in this modern, progressive world as a reminder that no matter what happens, we will always, always rise above it, emerging stronger than before.
You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll arise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Just because I walk as if I have oil wells pumping in my living room. <laughs> Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Don't take it so hard just because I laugh as if I have gold mines digging in my own backyard. You can shoot me with your words. You can cut me with your lies. You can kill me with your hatefulness. But just like life, I rise. Does my sexiness offend you? Oh. <laughs> Does it come as a surprise that I dance? As if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. A black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, wow, <laughs> there I go. Today, on the auspicious occasion of celebrating our foundress, Mary Ward, we send a message to every man and every woman, to the victim and the abuser, to friend and foe alike, a message of not just equality or freedom, but of life and those we owe it to. The thinkers, the educators, the activists, those who fought in the forefront. They did not rebel to see our free reign surrendered. They did not battle for us to live in passive aqueous. They strived to see us live ardently, to exist deliberately and righteously and to refuse to witness or permit the slow undoing of those human rights to which our forebearers have always been committed and to which we are committed today at home and around the world music heals the soul as we send out the message of equality goodwill and peace of our founder mary ward let the soul of each one be healed, and let the spirit of those oppressed be set free. Presenting before you a musical performance by Sumaya Khan, dedicated to all women around the world. I'm proud of who 
Strength I've never known. I bring thunder, I'll be ready. When I'm finished, they won't even know your name. Cause you brought the flame and you put me through hell. I had to learn how to fight for myself. And we both know all the truth I can tell. I'll just say this as I wish you farewell. I hope you're somewhere praying, praying. I hope your soul is changing, changing. I hope you find a peace, falling on your knees, praying. Let us pray. Venerable Mary Ward, servant of God, you sought the honor and glory of God and strove to do his will in your life. In your days you lived among the needy, sharing their joys and sorrows. You consoled the sick and cared for the poor, giving them God's love and life. You upheld the dignity of children and women, enlightening their lives with knowledge and truth. Withstanding severe opposition and suffering, you pursued your desires with trust in God. We pray that you would make our way purposeful and our footsteps firm out of your goodness and love. Give us a heart of wisdom to hear your voice and make us strong by your huge favor and grace. Amen. Today, as we stand here with our voices being heard, we must not forget that there are women all around the world who still face discrimination, are ill-treated and are left unheard. Mary Watt said, women in time to come will do much. And perhaps it's time when we and all women stand up for what we believe and empower not just ourselves, but every woman who has been put behind the shackles of gender norms. Mary Ward was rightly called a woman beyond compare because she was courageous enough to take a step towards educating other women and making them capable enough to take a stand for themselves back in the 16th century when it was entirely a male-dominated society. And despite knowing that fingers will be pointed at her, she never gave up and continued to do what she believed in. She lived her life only to make our lives better. So let's be grateful and keep her alive in our thoughts and in our actions. And give yet another woman the confidence and the strength to lift her head up with pride and not fear. <laughs>